So hello everyone. My name is Carl and I'm a PhD student in uh, mathematical statistics at Lund University. And I'm gonna talk about fast derivative pricing in Julia. So my talk is gonna be a two-part presentation where the first will cover stochastic differential equations and how you can use them in a package that I have developed called sdmodels.jl. And the second part is a use case scenario where I will show you how to, to use this in the context of derivative uh, pricing. So what is a stochastic differential equation? In uh, general, the mathematical definition is something like this, where you have a system which is defined by its drift function and uh, diffusion function, and these can be multivariate. And <coughs> from now on in the presentation, I'm gonna use a common example used in finance called the Heston model, which is describing an asset price and its stochastic volatility. So the minimal Julia definition of this would be something like, like you see here, where you have a container to keep your parameters and then you have the drift function and the diffusion function. And if you have a simple model, this is okay to read. It's, you can check that it's the same as, as the equations, but there are some things you might wanna consider. So if you want to simulate from this model, uh, you might wanna consider using static arrays, for example, and this increases code complexity a bit, uh, and certain simulation schemes require you to add additional methods. These are not important, but and then you would have to do that for every single model if you want to use all the functionality. So with this in mind, I created the package sdmodels.jl, and this allows you to define your models the way you would do in mathematics. So using Julia's uh, metaprogramming uh, capabilities, you can transform this uh, code into the code that I showed you before. So if you define your model like this, all the code is created for you and it's automatically fast. Uh, and this is how you define a multivariate model. You can define simple models on one line and you can, uh, I recently added, so you can define jump models as well. So you can have arbitrary uh, distributions for your jumps. And this is very much similar how to define the models in mathematics. So now I'm gonna show you how you use this to simulate your data. And of course, first you create your model, you choose parameters and initial time and state, and then you choose your scheme to simulate from. And there are many different schemes you can choose from, and you use the simulate method to get your data. And I just wanna say that every step in this simulation requires you to sample a Gaussian random number. So when I benchmark this, I'm gonna benchmark with the equivalent in MATLAB, but the, the uh, sort of baseline uh, timing would be for what does it cost to simulate just the random numbers. So in MATLAB, simulating 200,000 Gaussian numbers uh, takes roughly two milliseconds. That's okay quick. And simulating a simple model, like a one-dimensional model, uh, is roughly four times as slow. But when, when you wanna simulate the model that I showed you the equation for, the two-dimensional Heston model, something breaks down and it's 400 times slower than, than uh, just the random number generation. So in my package, well, in Julia, the random number generator is quicker than MATLAB. And uh, actually for the, the simple model in my package, some crazy optimization is going on. 
and it's faster than, <laughs> than the random number generation. Um, and you see there, there is barely any overhead as, at all for the, for the multivariate model. So the main features of SDModels.jl is that you can define your models the way you're used to in mathematics. The code will be created for you and you'll automatically get the excellent simulation performance and choose between all kinds of uh, simulation uh, methods. So now I'm gonna quickly show you about, uh, well, talk about how we can use this in uh, the scenario of derivative pricing, where uh, first I'm gonna sidestep and talk quickly about another package I'm working on called optionprice.jl. So currently this implements a Fourier-based option pricing model or option pricing algorithm, uh, which is based on numerical integration. And this method is considered to be very fast and really accurate for quite complex models, but it can only price uh, European type contracts. <coughs> so to use this package, you would do something like this. You choose the type of pricer you wanna use and your contract parameters, and you use the price function to get your, your um, option price. <coughs> but of course you can do the same with Monte Carlo and the simulation package, uh, SD models, and you would do something like this. So you simulate your data, you define your discount factor, and you average over the, the payoffs. But pricing a European contract with the simulation-based approach is not very, very fun because it only depends on the last time point. So instead, I have an example where you have an Asian option instead, which depends on the average price over time. And you can do something like this then. Uh, so this is not in optionprice.jl yet, but my conclusion is that with SDE models, I can define, my, very easily define uh, the, uh, the models and I get automatically the high performance. And with uh, optionprice.jl, I can price European type contracts highly accurate and super fast. And by combining these two, I would like to uh, have a, a function to uh, price arbitrary path dependent contracts using Monte Carlo methods. And that's Well, I used you know a lot of, I, I guess I used a lot of samples. Well, 10,000 samples is not that much, but. But it was it smoothing or is it just. No, I. You used common random numbers to get uh, a smooth plot like this. No, so I, of course I, I simulate the data once and price all the contracts using the same simulated oh, data. Oh, so oh, it's oh, common oh, random numbers, yeah. <laughs> yes, I have tried it, I think. Uh, I'm not gonna <laughs> insult any. I guess, uh, like it's really easy to get started using MATLAB, but, but I find it extremely uh, not very useful that it's so slow as 
as soon as you go to a complex model, which you would use in practice. Okay, thank you. Do we have two more questions if it's time? Yeah. I just wanted to ask if you have some experience with R, because R is a classical example of uh, very complexing modeling where you can also do a Monte Carlo. Did you compare do you, any bit benchmarking regarding performance? I really didn't use R that much, but every experience I have is that it's slower than Julia. I, I did benchmarking in exactly the same case, so it's worse than that. Okay. I also agree. Okay, so last question. Yeah, um, for a moment you just put your parameters into your model, but you <coughs> estimate the parameters from stock price or from option prices. I'm sorry? Usually, if now you put the parameters of the rest model, just click that. Yeah, well, of course you can do inference from real data. Do you use option prices, uh, of course, option prices to infer the parameters? You yeah. Can you do it with your model? No, it's nothing. Uh, that I have implemented yet. So that I would have some other package for. Okay.